This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. This summer has been a strange one, since it pretty much feels like the fall release season with so many big games. It's been so hard to keep up with all of them, and with many of them getting lost in the shuffle as well. For example, I had no idea a new Crash game came out. Just from the name alone, Crash Team Rumble, I was thinking that it was going to be a remaster of Crash Bash on the PS1, especially since Activision has remastered all the other PS1 titles. But to my surprise, I was completely wrong. Rumble is its own thing, and honestly, it's pretty fun. Crash Team Rumble is a multiplayer-only Crash title. It puts two teams against each other to get as much Wampa as possible. The first team to get the most wins. The movement and action are all rather simple and easy to understand and get into. You have a few attacks and ways to move around the environment. While I found myself just starting to dig into this game, there seems to actually be some depth here in making good use of your movement options, which relates well to collecting more Wampa faster. There's a few classes to pick from that fit different roles. One might be better at collecting, whereas another is better geared towards stopping the other team. The game is a one-mode type of experience. Even with where I am, it provides an addictive hope of making me want to play just one more match. Your team puts Wumpa on the board. The enemy team boosted. Rumble seems to do a decent job with the unlocks, providing the player with rewards for everything they do. The maps feel individual and unique in their size, setup, and powers. The casual multiplayer is fun. Jumping into a match with no one that you know, but you'll probably get more out of this game with a few friends. Probably my biggest drawback with the game so far is the lack of any offline play. This is an always online game. Rumble is a pretty good party game, and one that could benefit from online split-screen options. I plan to dig into this one a bit more and report back later, but so far I really like it. Have you played Crash Team Rumble? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you'd like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.